Hello everybody, my name is Jonah and this is my final project presentation for computer graphics. So for my final project I made this Mandelbrot Visualizer and Explorer program with support for both Mandelbrot sets and Julia sets with a pretty cool animation for the Julia sets. So in case you don't know what a Mandelbrot set is, uh, it looks like this and um, you can do some research here on Wikipedia if you really want to know how it works, but basically it's a recursive algorithm that results in this super cool, trippy looking, uh, non-repeating pattern. And um, I always thought it was super cool, so I wanted to kind of explore that in computer graphics. So in my program you're able to zoom in and move around using the arrow keys and control and shift. So no matter where you zoom into, uh, you can pretty much zoom forever and uh, creates this really cool non-repeating pattern and you can see it develop as you zoom because I uh, I set the number of max iterations to increase based on how zoomed in you are to increase the uh, the resolution and save some performance so I think that's super cool and I can reset my view here but um, the second part of my project is implementing Julia sets, which is very similar to Mandelbrot in terms of the algorithm, but you use a set constant instead of using the coordinates as the constant each iteration. So I can switch to that just by pressing J, and this is what one of them looks like. Um, it's kind of similar to the Mandelbrot, but it is fully repetitive this time, fully self-similar, I should say. Uh, so zooming in will kind of look the same no matter where you zoom in. But what I implemented here, which is pretty cool, is that by unpausing here, I can set it to animate. Uh, and it just cycles through different constant values as input to the algorithm. And you can see some pretty trippy, cool, natural looking stuff. And uh, one challenge which I've had to overcome which I think you could see right about here, is that the colors look pretty weird sometimes, which is kind of just the nature of the, the Julia set. But I had to uh, create a little algorithm here um, and here, which uh, sorts the, the ranges of output values uh, into a vector and um, Basically, you assign the fragment color for each pixel based on where it falls in the range. And um, it took a lot of tweaking to get the, the values right. And as you can see, it still looks a little weird sometimes, but I think it came out pretty, pretty good looking. Here for the Mandelbrot, I think it looks pretty great, honestly.